Hello everybody, so in today's video I'm going to show you how to use MR pack files from ModWinf, which are also called ModWinf mod packs. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is actually go to your web browser and get yourself a mod pack file or you can skip this step if you already have one. So for example, if you wanted one, you'll go on ModWinf right? and you'll have just went on ModWinf like this and gotten yourself a mod pack. Right? You have done this, you have gone to mod packs, and you have looked for something, and you'll see, okay, I want this one, for example, RP Fabric, you have clicked this, you have gone to versions, and then you have seen, okay, so 1.2.4, Fabric, wonderful. And you're like, oh, what? So that's kind of what this is. But so MR pack files are basically the thing that you get, and that can be read by the modern app, but it can also be read by an other project on GitHub, which is very useful. So first of all, what is a MR pack file? Well, if you go to your downloads and you rename the MR pack file here to just simply zip and you say yes, and you go on it, you'll see that it is just a JSON or basically just a text file of all of the links that the mod pack uses for the mods. Okay, so this is just a bunch of modern flings. Okay, placeholder API. Here you have telemetry, you have capes and everything. So what this is, if I give it all this, is just simply these. Well, but Minecraft itself cannot read mod packs from modern. So how do we do this? Well, the way we do this is quite simple. We just need to go on a new tab, or I will link in the description if you need it. Uh, to a web website called MR Pack to Zip, and it is a GitHub project right here. And if you go on it, you'll see that you have three options of downloading mods or mod pack files. So the way we do this is, for example, if you wanted to have the latest from the project, you will have just gone to OptiFabric right here, and you will have be on this main page like always and you have done copy id right here and you have put this in there and then you will have gotten the uh, jar file so if i do this for example copy id and i paste it in download it's now downloading optifabric for 1.1.4 but this is not the best option because it is the latest from project so it, it is always this one and if you want this one you will not be able to get this so yeah the best one in all of this is this one download from url why well it is this little green button here if we right click and we go on copy address we can simply download whatever one we want so it's really useful because if you want to download this one for example you can just right click here, copy, link address, delete everything and paste it in, there you go. And we just have the one right here for 1.1.3. So this one's the best one there is, I believe. But we also have this one and this one is a kind of weird because it's fine with like small packs like OptiFabric. So if I want to download this, you actually click this and you actually get yourself your ML pack file which you now put this in there and you can do download. It is fine with small mod packs, but if you have things like better Minecraft or anything crazy, it will take forever. So it is better for you to use this one. This one is the best for basically all cases and this one will probably be, yeah, probably this one, yeah. Maybe like optimized thing or, I almost wanna say this can be used to like automatization, basically just make this automatic, but like, this is the best you want when it just comes to just downloading mod packs from ModWinf around the ModWinf app. So, how do we use mod packs? Well, let me just delete everything and let's go back to from scratch. And let's say we want OptiFabric. So, we just go to versions and we want the one for 1.2.4. So, we just right click the download button, we copy link address, we go to mod pack, go to a zip converter and we just paste the address in the second option. Now, we just click download and we have it on our computer. We're just going to validate, okay, and here it is. 
So we can see that on our downloads folder here that we have a mod pack. To run mod packs, you need zip. Well, to run mod packs, you also need to have the proper mod loader. Here we have fabric. So to get fabric, you just need to search up fabric Minecraft. And we have fabricmc.net. Simply go here, download, and download for Windows. Okay. So now we have everything we need. So we will just close the web browser to make this nice and simple, and we'll also close this. So let's say that we are right here. What do we do? Well, you need to go to your file explorer and to your downloads folder. Like it is possible that nothing shows up here because you have a custom downloads folder, but if you're using the default one, you will see your OptiFabric and your fabric. First of all, you want to unzip the zip file by doing extract all, or by doing this like specific thing that's WinRAW or 7-zip if you have anything like this downloaded. And this will just give you a folder with the mods. Also, the mods are indeed actual jar files and like the text files or text thingies from uh, the MR pack and once you have these three items simply double click fabric installer make sure you have the proper version and click install ok and close now what you want to do is go to your minecraft launcher because we need to not only play minecraft java to test out the mod pack but we also need to add the mod pack to minecraft in the first place so once we're here we need to make sure we have fabric loader in the version we have selected so 1.7.4 for example and we can go to installations right here and once we're here we can go to any one of these little folder icons it will always bring us to the dot minecraft folder in specific cases it might not but in this case it will always bring you if you did not mess with any settings of actual minecraft location and stuff so once you're in the dot minecraft folder simply find the mods folder and double click it and once you're here, simply go to downloads, your mod pack, mods, control A or select all, copy, go back to the Minecraft launcher, go to any one of these little icons here, and we want to go to mods and paste. So that's how we do this. But there is some cases where this does not work which is when you have a mod pack which also has resource packs, shaders, saves, anything. So it is important to note, like, okay, so here we only had a mods folder in our mod pack, but if you have anything like a resource pack or something else that shows up, sometimes you can have up to like 10 of these folders. It really just changes how your Minecraft works. So you will just have to copy the actual folder and you have to paste it in the actual Minecraft folder because you will have multiple of these folders to replace so it'll be faster for you to add this and also sometimes you also have custom folders so yeah in this case we only had one which was mods but if you have resource packs and other things just copy the actual folders instead of these specific files so once you have all this sorted out simply go to the Minecraft launcher go to play make sure you have fabric or whatever you want here with the version and click play and you should have everything working once Minecraft loads up. In this case, it is like Minecraft OptiFabric, so it will be fabric features in Minecraft as a mod pack. But of course, there is hundreds, if not thousands, of these mod packs, so you will definitely have other things as well. So here we can go to single player world and tutorials, and we can just use OptiFind features. So yeah, we can like zoom and stuff, pretty useful. So in this video, I showed you how to use MR pack files for Minecraft. So yeah, if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye.